Welcome back. Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain. One more segment to talk some Colorado State Ram football. Tom Hilbert of CSU Ram Volleyball joins us coming up here in the next segment. Well, Utah State coming up on Saturday at Hughes Stadium. And of course, it is Ag Day. It also marks the 150th anniversary of the Morrill Act. That was the legislation that paved the way for schools like Colorado State and other land-grant institutions. At land-grant universities across the country, students from all walks of life earn an education that is scholarly and practical. My world has been changed by the opportunities for me to study here at CSU. That creates a responsibility to be able to give back through research and to be able to change the world after me one person at a time. Research and innovation shared with the community to solve real world problems. And the greatest innovation may have been the creation of our country's land grant universities. If there's one quintessential element of what it means to be a land grant university, it was taking that, that most American of things, the importance of the individual, and saying for the first time anywhere in the world that access to a university degree should depend on your talent, your motivation, and not what your family did for a living. Up until 150 years ago, higher education was for the elite. That changed in 1862 with Justin Smith Morrill's Act granting to each state land for a university. They used a resource that they weren't fully utilizing, or even utilizing, i.e. land, and they multiplied it into education. And our country had a lot more land than it did education and it worked. It's one of those historical institutions that we can be very proud of. Eighteen sixty-two was a year of vivid contrasts. In this one year, the Transcontinental Railroad opened the West. The Homestead Act gave people land. The Emancipation Proclamation gave freedom, and the Morrill Act gave opportunity for education, all instituted against the bloody backdrop of war. You think about how much courage it took Lincoln, not only to conduct the Civil War, but to find a way to create a system of higher education institutions in every state when the country had no money. I feel, and I believe my colleagues at, at, at Sister Land Grant Institutions, feel that this is such an important educational idea that the concept of land-grant universities was so fundamentally revolutionary and yet is still so powerful and vibrant today that one of the most acute pressures we feel is maintaining that and preserving that opportunity for the next 150 years. Well, I day one of my favorite days out at Colorado State, and of course, a big feast and celebration. It, it's a lot of fun. You know, we're really looking forward to it. And again, this is part of our history. This is part of our tradition. And being a land grant institution, uh, you know, set forth to educate those, you know, from this area. And, and, and again, as a state school, this is something that we take a lot of pride in. And of course, we do wear uh, the orange A on the back of our helmets uh, now as, as, as part of that. Utah State coming in on Saturday, and it's a, it's a ball club that has a big win against Utah, and then they nearly got a road win at Wisconsin. You know, I think there again, uh, you know, what Gary has done there, Gary Anderson's done there as a head coach uh, it, with that program. Uh, you know, you can see that they really, they really play great defense. This is a team that, that prides itself in toughness. Uh, this will be a great challenge for us, you know, them obviously getting a win over Utah. Uh, in a huge game, and then coming back and playing Wisconsin in, in a field goal, you know, at, at the end to win it, uh, you know, that, it tells you a lot about the opponent, the quality of the opponent, and, and yet, you know what, we're going to have a great week of practice. We're going to come back, and, and we're going to play hard and, and, and play Ram football. Yeah. One final thought, um, a, lot of, a lot of ties with Colorado State, Utah State, and, and the main ties is Dave Baldwin, your offensive coordinator, was the OC the last three years in Logan. Sure, yeah, Dave, uh, Dave was there. And, and Is that an advantage for you guys at all? Do you, how do you use that? You know, I, I think that there's obviously some personnel things yeah. and, uh, you know, that we may be able to take advantage of, but, uh, 
you know, I know uh, we're really excited to have Dave, and, and, and I'm really excited he's on our team. <laughs> All right, Jim, thanks so much. Best of luck next week. Thank you. All right, that's head coach Jim McElwain. We'll take a timeout when we come back here to Coe's BMW in Loveland. Talk some Ram volleyball with head coach Tom Hilbert. Stay with us.